Hi and welcome. Entering a new market can be quite a high reward move for a company. Think of Amazon going from an online bookstore to becoming one of the largest e-commerce players globally. Or Netflix doing a pivot from the DVD by mail rental market to the streaming market. But it can also be a very risky and costly move. Think of Google trying to enter the social media market with Google+. Or Target trying to enter the Canadian retail store market. Both had to close down their activities in their respective markets. So it's important to make sure that you're entering the right market and that you have the capabilities to do so. But where should you start? Well, you can increase your chances of success by conducting a market attractiveness analysis or simply put, a market research. And that's exactly what I will be covering in a series of bite-sized lectures together with you. My name is Thibaut Dubois and I'm a manager in one of the largest consulting firms in the world. My main activities as a consultant consist of advising and guiding businesses throughout their digital transformation journey. At the end of this class, you will be able to confidently assess the attractiveness of the market and formulate a recommendation whether to enter it or not. Before we get uh, on with our first uh, lecture, I wanted to give you a small overview of what you'll exactly learn. So here we go. As I mentioned in the introduction of the course, this step is about identifying the markets and or segments we would like to serve with our product. It's possible that you have a specific market in mind, but before entering that market, you first need to assess whether it is attractive or not. This is an important step as you don't want to spend a lot of time and effort on developing a product only to realize that there's nobody in that market willing to buy it. Or perhaps the competition turns out to be really tough, leaving no profits on the table. All suppliers are squeezing, all, uh, are squeezing out all the distributors with high resource prices and so on. So how can we assess the attractiveness of a, something like a market? In essence, it always comes down to five elements. First of all, you need to know what the size of the market is, whether it is growing or not, and how much market share you will be able to capture. This is called industry analysis. Next, you need to do a customer analysis in order to know who your customers are, what purchase behaviors do they have, what do they find important, and what's frustrating them today. I can tell you that your product strategy will be completely different if you decide to target the high end of a market versus the low end. Another very important aspect to analyze is our competition. You need to know whether the market is fragmented or aggregated. Can we differentiate our product from the competition or not? It's easier to deal with many smaller players compared to a few big players uh, and that's also something you need to account as well. Next, let's not forget about our suppliers. We need to understand what's going on, on in their uh, side of the industry. How can they impact us? Again, many suppliers are easier to deal with compared to a few that hold a lot of bargaining power. And lastly, you should assess, uh, also assess factors that might not always impact the industry, but they should be considered when they do. I'm talking about technology trends, regulatory trends, economic trends, and sustainability trends. And voila, that's us back already. If you like this little sneak peek and want to stay informed about uh, future updates, then I would happily suggest that you hit that like button and that you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know more about market research and perhaps even product strategy creation uh, as a whole, then I might have something for you. I give a masterclass where I cover the entire product strategy creation journey from product vision and market research to business modeling, service design, product roadmaps, go-to-market strategies and product monitoring. Really, it's the full package. You can find the link in the description below. Okay, in the next video we will cover the market health part. See you there!